This is Talk of Asian Marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior. Here we are, we're shooting. <laughs> Welcome to Talk of Asian Marketing, it's great to be here. And we're just outside the uh, Xingong Sanye, one of the biggest department stores. They've got these in pretty much every city. In fact, in Thailand, we're a proud possessor of two of these. One slightly older one, one slightly newer one. I think it's really interesting to see how these Japanese style departments for the room come into Taiwan, really grown in such a big way. Well, this is one, this is the oldest Japanese department store in Japan, isn't it Stephen? Yes, yes, it's the first one uh, department store in Japan. Yeah. And so when they come to Taiwan, what's their relationship with a local partner? Do you have uh, any idea? Yeah, it's the local company, Xingguang. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and that's a locally formed partnership yes, here yes, in Taiwan. Yes. Uh, but uh, the stores themselves, inside, they still carry over lots of the Japanese traditions and, and things like that. We've got a problem. Send them, over to, send them over to us, Anthony. Say you work for the BBC, Anthony. All right, call your phone. Let's just, we just keep, keep filming. Let's just keep going. Let's get it wrapped up before they have time to come. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. So, uh, it's, it's a big Japanese store. It's kind of interesting. What, what makes the Japanese department store so attractive, do you think, here? Um, I think that... Uh, the lifestyle of the Taiwanese is uh, similar to the uh, Japanese. And so they like the, the, um, the lifestyle of the uh, imported from Japan. And, uh, I think those Japanese products, I mean, it's very interesting now earlier about the volume of imported products from Japan. And that Japanese made in Japan has a real quality feel, doesn't it, Clyde? Appliances will be from will be Japanese brands. A lot of the stuff will be Japanese. Of course, the clothing, you know, that's real international branding. But you'll get a lot of Japanese stuff in here and a lot of Japanese flavored service. Yes, yeah. yes, I think the service. As you walk in, I think it's uh, particularly in the morning as they all line up, all the staff line up, they bow and they greet you. In the lift, the elevators, you have the ladies with the nice gloves. The other interesting thing is where they cluster the other. We've got the Xinguang just behind us. You're saying, Clyde, there's another two or three around here, aren't there? Right, we have a... In fact, Taichung has, I think, the most department store space wow. in Southeast Asia, which is outside of Japan. It's really amazing. That's so later, another time, maybe we can stop at the department store, which is downtown. Right down the block, there's a one called Sogo Department Store. That's there's another big Japanese one as well, isn't it? Yes, yeah. it is, yeah. Right. And the in? Okay. Uh, actually, besides uh, Japan, Department store. There were a lot of the local uh, department stores, but uh, um, the most successful uh, department store uh, uh, are run, uh, run by the Japanese manager. manager. It's the Japanese management system, it seems to make yes. these things work well. Yeah, yeah. Even in down economic times, which is pretty hard on department stores. Yeah, and there, um, um, the the yeah, management is into to uh, Taiwanese culture, I think. Uh, yeah, because of being Asian themselves, you think there's that they, they actually, connectivity? Uh, they are Asian uh, culture um, too, and they, they are, um, uh, their management is very efficient here, yeah. effectively. Right. Uh, yes. Yeah, I think, you know, if we look at, at the China market, we might, if we went to China right now today and talk to people, of course, you have a lot of that anti-Japanese feeling generated, you know, maybe a little bit artificially. I don't think it's just that Taiwan has a close relationship with Japan historically. I just think, like Stephen said, they're really good at managing the efficiency of the store. And someday in China, I think they'll be really successful, too. I think yes. There's no doubt about it. They're just really good at that. Yeah, I think that Japanese orientation towards organization complements what people like here locally. They get it to run really well. And in fact, the, where I was going earlier, or talking about, I bet you they have a big sale in here, don't they? That's thought, the weird thing. You come in here and it is yeah. definitely high end, especially on the first, second floor. You get a lot of. Well, those you see, boutiques. you see those big brands just behind us here. Yeah, it's all your big boutique brands, all of your international brands. 
as you go upstairs, it's less of that, but you yeah. still have those individual stores. But then you often have a whole floor or a whole section that's just sale items. That's, it, yeah. uh, that, uh, that's amazing because they're really on sale. You can really yeah, get big yeah. sales. So they're a uh, uh, product assortment. Assortment. Okay, the product assortment and uh, the, their service uh, management. It, it really reflects good quality thinking, yeah, doesn't it, yeah, and the way yeah. they organize it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a really hard thing to balance, to be able to have your high-end stuff and still have sales. Yes. And the other thing about department stores in Asia, the Japanese influence, you also have supermarkets, yep. plus whole eating areas. Uh -huh. To be able to combine these together and none of them ruin the other one. In other words, you know, brand management is so hard if you're running a high-end and a low-end together. It really becomes yes, questionable, yeah. you know, in the mind of the consumer. The Japanese managers for these department stores is what they're really, really good at. I think Steve was talking about some of the local department stores. One of the things that happens is you start to get a feeling when they're having those sales that the stuff is really junk. Yeah, yeah. very junk and very cheap. You, exactly. You, you got a feeling of the cheap. Yeah. The cheap feeling. Yeah, cheap and so feeling. this is where I think the Japanese manager is yeah. really, really good. This promotional activity is so prevalent. Just, yeah. Even so as you say, this yeah. is a prime premium yeah. end and yet they're yeah. still pushing the discounts and yeah. people and I remember just even a month back someone coming out and saying I've been to the Shinguang and I've just gone there because there's some great sale yeah. items yeah. there yeah. and you know even here and as you say they, they get that mixture done so well I think it's, it's, it's really it's amazing very how clever. they can balance that because I've been here before I go into a sale area but then they the way they get you is you know you have your high-end shopper you have your kind of quote-unquote tourist shopper a lot here yeah, too. Yeah, Supposedly Taichung's uh, retailing space is so large because lots of people come in from the countryside from yeah. Nanto and they come in they make a big so you can see whole families walking around here mm -hmm. and they're just pushing the carts, the grandparents, everybody's taking a trip. What's the chance that they're going to buy the high-end stuff is not much. They might get something on sale but then they see one thing they like yeah, yeah. and they buy one thing. And I've done that before too. You come in, you get the sale stuff, but then you see one thing, you say, hey, that suit's really nice, mm -hmm. and you spoil yourself. Yeah. And I think you get a lot of business that way, aside from their high-end customers, which they kind of separate. When you go in the store, you can feel there's that separation, yeah, they, and you can go for the bargain, you see something, you pick it up, but your high-end people, they get a special treatment. They uh, suck through on that special uh, kind of high-end track, basically. Right, it's exactly. interesting, Gaoshun, too, has a big set of department stores. I'm really amazed that the city can support so many. Does it pull people in from outside as well? Yes, uh, uh, many customers uh, from uh, China. Uh, yeah. yeah, in the Pingdong. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Out of the uh, Kaohsiung city. They really come in, don't they? I mean, it's, they, they must make like a day trip, basically, yeah. for, the, for that whole shopping and, event. And you really. can make it. It's easy to make it a day trip because there's everything in there. Now, of course, you can compare with an American shopping mall. I think a, a better comparison may maybe be the mall, the USA mall, the really big one, and people come in. They yeah. have everything you need there, eating and everything. But I think the difference is, in Japan, these things are really normal. Mm -hmm. And it's not, you're not taking a special trip to go to the big, yeah. big mall of America. They're just all over the place. And there's all different levels of them, right, Stephen? You have your top end, mm -hmm. and then your medium mm -hmm. end, and your lower end, they all have a kind of ranking system to them. Stephen, do you think there's a ranking system to these department stores in Taiwan like that? Yeah, sort of. Kind of. Yeah. You got your higher ones, your better ones. Yes. And of course, uh, um, this uh, um, department store has uh, its um, reputation. So even the poor uh, rank will uh, come here. Because they want to see that really good yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, besides, uh, 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 there are many uh, rich people living in uh, Zhanghua, and they will come here. And there's not a whole lot of shopping in Zhanghua. Yeah, the top end yeah. shopping, right. yes, right. they don't have it, yes. Right. 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 So, uh, um, we can say that uh, Taichung City is a recreational city uh, of the Taiwan, yeah. especially for the middle of Central yes, Taiwan. there's nothing yeah. really yeah. around, Central is there? Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. really the focus of right. the, the center. Right. And this is really the focal point of the big department stores. It's kind of known. It's got a very powerful reputation here. Great. Well, we'll look forward to getting inside and getting some... some
see what happened. Shoot my cam cool. out, take some shots. Yeah. This is Talk of Asian Marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior.